Making sound maps is a great way to spend time outdoors while fine-tuning your observation skills. Here's what you'll need. Paper, coloring utensils, paints, and a marker or pen. First, you're gonna find a comfortable place to sit down outdoors, in your yard or on your deck. Draw an X to represent where you are on the map and listen carefully. Identify where you hear sounds and what you're hearing. Draw an image representing the sound that you heard on your map. Don't worry about making these illustrations perfect. Sound mapping is more about observation. I'm a little Labeling items and locations is optional, but can be a good way to support literacy skills for young explorers. Bird sounds, of course, are a great thing to include on the map. And other things to listen for include leaves blowing in the wind, frogs, people, road noise, and much more. What do you hear in your backyard? Sound maps can be a collaborative activity or done individually. And that's it. We hope this gives you some tools to get started. Have fun out there.